learn something new or just give up and be a log. Yeah. This should be a fun one to make people mad. Hello everybody, DarkZenO8 here. Time for another commentary run. Uh, as you heard, it's uh, always learning something new. It is the big key to this commentary, and it's very key to life. In the background, you see a very sped up game of Capture the Flag on Battlefield 3. I play as the engineer for most of it. I see really not the much going on. I'm still working on my assignment tags. Now, with today's multiplayer games, learning is the key to being called either a hacker or a noob on the scoreboard. It takes time to learn your opponent's tactics and what you need to, you know, to know your way around each map. But as soon as you learn the maps, you know which way the opponent's going to go and how you should fight them. That's the biggest thing, because human players are way different than regular bots that are scripted to do certain orders. I know I love playing against human players more than I do bots. I, I do like a single player game every once in a while, but there are certain games that just don't hold up to par. You know, there are story games which do. You know, the old Castlevania games were great for story. I could never see them do a multiplayer with those. They, they, I know they tried it with Castlevania Judgment for the Wii, and it was just a horrible, you know, beat 'em up game that was just done on the system to try selling on the name. Now, as humans, we are always wanting to learn something new and to show off what we've learned. Thus, the reason I'm on YouTube because I'm constantly trying to learn video editing and different games and getting the things going where I think I'm having fun and trying something different. Uh, my editing is still needing some work as you can see. This video I just sped up because I really didn't have a whole bunch of them to piece together at the moment so I really don't want to give you guys a half ass one it's originally 18 minutes long so I figured if I cut it down to time wise it'd be something different for you all now I told you say for you know learning we learn as kids that you know we always have to learn something new and when we learn something new we want to show that off and it's ingrained us in school it's ingrained to us with our parents family friends everything else it is just one of those things where we want to learn we want to show things off we want to do something different and I think with uh, gaming today it's really become annoying that you originally get into a game nowadays and they have the freaking hour-long tutorial constant hey do this hey do that hey do this uh, Sometimes I just want to go back to the old Mario Brothers style where you know, you were given a controller and told to go ahead off on and try learning different things. After a while you learn that, oh, I need to make a jump here, I can jump on that, I can pick this up and do damage this way or that way. Now, nowadays, there's a lot of gamers that think Mario Brothers, the original from 88, 89, is just extremely too hard. There's no definition of what they're supposed to be doing. Well, back when the games first came out, as old as I am, there was an instruction book. You read that little book, you knew you got an idea of what to do, you played the game. Nowadays, you're sitting here and you're constantly going through over and over again, just constant, hey, here's how you do this, hey, here's this, hey, here's that. And uh, I'm a little tired of it myself, uh, but I guess that's because I'm an older gamer, I'm pretty much set in my ways. I guess I don't want the hand-holding that I, you know, never got when I was a kid during gaming. Uh, so the hand-holding nowadays is sort of something that gets to me. Now, always learning is one of the greatest things in life. You can always learn something new as long as you're willing to try it. Like, here, you know, on YouTube is a wonderful example of how much information is out there to learn something new, to do something new. To just pick up a new hobby you know, there's so many videos that people are making out there to show you different things to show you what's available and uh, it's wonderful it's a wonderful learning tool and I know a lot of people love it a lot of people that hate it I my friend actually love it as for the whole you know getting used to YouTube you know figuring out why I'm not getting views what gets more views what's popular what's not popular it's just one of those things that you just got to Go with the flow and learn your own style. Once you have your style and the way you want to do things, it adds a whole different feel to things. And that's 
that's the big thing is learning how it feels to you and how you want to go about it. Because once you get it going, it'll go really nicely for you. Great things come to those who wait and put time and effort into it all. If you're just going to instantly want instant reward for what you're doing, then uh, YouTube's not going to be the playing ground for you. You, you got to put time into it. You got to put thought into it. You got to put dedication. And if you ever go back and watch my things I've learned from YouTube in nine months of constant doing it, it'll tell you all of that. And this is a part of learning. Learning is figuring out what works for you and what doesn't. Myself, I'm still trying to learn what works for me. And hopefully it all comes through very soon. <laughs> so let me know how you all feel. Let me know how you feel about today's games and how they are with you know, the constant walk you through a tutorial for a half hour to an hour or constantly telling you how to do something over and over and over again. Or if you want to go back to the old style where you read a little pamphlet or read, you know, little instructions as soon as you booted the game and go. All in all, let me know what you all think. I am Dark Xenonite. Thank you and take care.